the material body will change its shape uh, subject applied forces. It could be a forces of my hands changing the shape of this elephant or some uh, electromagnetic field as it is shown on the video. To study such a phenomena, we first need to formalize it. Let's take um, a concrete uh, example, so-called magnetoelasticity. The original configuration is occupying a domain D. Uh, y is a deformation. And so the resulting configuration will be Y of D. Here the point X move to the point Y of X. The problem here to find an equilibrium equilibrium state of our magnetoelastic body, which means that we want to find a um, configuration that will give a minimum of our energy. Let us forget for a moment about our friend and about the origins of the problem and see the beauty of analysis uh, such a problem. There are essentially several aspects. Uh, the first one is um, that everything in this problem, what I wrote down, should make sense. Uh, for example, this integral here, it is integral over deformed domain, but we don't know the shape of the deformed domain, this is, uh, this is a problem to find it. And it could happen that uh, we take a very nice set, a ball, we take a very nice map, a quasi-conformal map, and as an image, we can get a Koch snowflake, which is a fractal, uh, which has, for example, an infinite perimeter. Another aspect is so-called approximation. Uh, because after all, the problem will, will be solved uh, probably not analytically. Usually you cannot find the analytical solution. But you can ask your friend who is doing um, programming, computer science, to write a program to find this, the approximate solution of this, uh, um, of this phenomenon. And the third important point uh, is a physical properties, uh, which means that we could know in advance that, for example, we don't want our deformation to produce materials from nothing, or to break our object, or to create a cavitation. The most challenging issue is to combine all these properties together. And uh, this is exactly what I'm doing.